Hello, my name's Dr Gill. Um, I've been asked to have a look at uh, your knees through a couple of special tests with regard to possible uh, meniscal shock absorber damage within the knee. Before we start, can I please confirm your name and date of birth? It's Harvest Alley, 4th of January 2000. Super, thank you. So, which knee is the affected one? The left is the affected one. Okay. So um, what I'm going to ask you to do first is to lie back on the bed and we're going to do something called McMurray's test. So if you lie back for me. So in terms of doing this, so it's the left one that's the affected. So we're going to do with the right one first. So we're going to bring, if you could bring this knee all the way up to your chin for me. Okay, thank you. And I'm going to internal rotation at the tibia and I'm going to push the knee in. Is that causing us any problems? Yeah, okay. A couple of times, two, and then up as far as we can and back through. Is that causing any pain there? No, that's okay. Okay. So then we're going to do the affected leg. So if we can bring your knee up to your chin for me. Okay, so I'm going to turn the leg inwards. I'm putting pressure on the knee to come inwards and trying to straighten. And then coming all the, all the way back. And then once more. And then as far as we can. Any problems there? No. Okay, so that's looking at the meniscus from one side. We're going to check it from the other. So again, if you could take this knee all the way back for me. So now I'm doing outwards rotation and I'm pulling out as we go down. Okay, and all the way back, and out as we are. Yeah, so there's a bit of a crack there, but no pain? No. Okay, so let's check the affected side again. So take this knee all the way up for me. Okay, so I'm now rotating the tibia out, putting some outward pressure. Oh, there was a good click there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get you to stand up for me. Also, the next one we're going to do is getting you to move the knees. So I'm going to put my arms out like so, and I'd like you to grasp them, so that way you're, um, you're safe. If you could take the weight on your good leg now, and uh, five degrees. Brilliant, so three times, terrific. Is that causing any pain? No, that's okay. So if you could bend down further to about 20 degrees now on the unaffected leg. Brilliant, and turn. Turn and turn. Any problems with that? No. Fantastic. Now we're going to do it on the affected leg. If there's any pain, stop and I'll make sure you don't fall. So if you take the weight on the affected leg, if you could just bend it to about five degrees for me and take the pressure off the bad leg and twist left and right. One, two, three, and then we'll do the same again but deeper. And then rotating left and right. Did that cause any pain? Slight pain. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to take your shoes off and if you could lie face first on the bed for me. Okay, so we're going to go with the unaffected leg. So picking the knee up and in and out. Is that causing any problems? No, that's okay. I'm going to change around now. I'm going to put some force and turning left and right. Is that causing us any problems? No. Super. Now we're going to do the affected side. So I'm going to lift the leg up and again giving that bit of distraction. Any problems with that? No. Okay. And then force directly down. And is that causing any pain? Nothing. Okay, super. So if you could sit up for me. So there was certainly a, a click there and at one point they showed a, a small element of discomfort. These tests aren't incredibly sensitive, so they pick up a problem in about 60% of patients. So what we're going to do, we're going to organise an MRI scan to determine exactly what's going on with your knees to, make, uh, to determine if it's a problem to the shock absorbers. Do you have any questions for myself? No, that's okay. Super. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks.